Ukraine to me is my home. It's where part of my heart is still. It's somewhere where I grew up. It's, some, it's the place that I can call home. It was very happy, colorful life. The childhood was as happy as it could be, with the delicious food and family gathering together at the tables, with the holidays and vacations. It was a very happy time, actually. It was a very happy time. Even it was Soviet Union, but it was we didn't see another. So I was born in Russia, but I had two grandmas still lived in Ukraine. My summer day was like colorful parts. All, everything was nice, fun, tasty. As a family, we had traditions. We would gather for holidays and uh, we cooked dishes. We eat vareniki, which is like dumplings, but more softer, I would say. Borscht, everyone knows borscht, of course. So we, we love Ukrainian food in general. We have a lot of uh, very beautiful places. It's just beautiful country. Yeah, the, I remember that vividly. I kind of knew that that's something that's, that's coming up and I see that all Ukrainians are starting waking up and reporting the, the loud explosions in their cities all over Ukraine. And I knew immediately the war has started. We checked the news, seeing uh, if anything happened, or I would wake up in the middle of the night because of the call, because my friend is calling me like, hey, they bombing the city your friend is at. So I have to call my friend right away and be like, hey, are you hiding? Is everything okay? My colleague was killed after four days after the start of the war. Told me we had talked about this, it's very hard. It's like, um, it's, it's something, it's a feeling that's very close to claustrophobia when you cannot go to the place where you were born. And I think the first time we, we called them, they were in a bomb shelter in Kyiv. We, we didn't know what to you know, talk about except, you know, please stay safe. Hoping that every time we would speak, it was not our last conversation. My family today came back in Kyiv and yesterday we had six attacked bomb in Kyiv. Bomb in Kyiv yesterday, very hard. Some areas where is my friends live. Well, my mom came to be with us for Thanksgiving and Christmas and she was supposed to leave on March 11th. And when the war started, all her flights were canceled, so she's here with us right now. It's the first time that she has been away from her home for so long. And of course, she worries whether there will be any home to return back. We just really pray and hope that um, she will return to Ukraine soon. And it will be the same Ukraine with the same people and will celebrate victory. We're just uh, trying to bring as much hope as we can at this point. Ukraine to me is a hospitality. It's friends, it's uh, smiles, it's blue and yellow, it's warm bread, it's embroidery, it's uh, good friends, good memories. It's my home, my family. I am, I'm afraid that one of these days, uh, you know, like I would wake up and there's gonna be like, oh, there's no Ukraine anymore. We might meet in the next life, but I need my people in this one. And I'm afraid to lose everything that I ever had. For what should we ruin two countries so close to each other? Close to each other culturally, by language, by our roots. Russians killed 20 thousands of civilians and I couldn't even believe in this number it's it's insane people don't have to die we're in the 21st century now 
For what? There is no reason for this war, but people dying. So I, I really want to be there just among the people that I love, among the nation that I, that I love and that I belong to. I support, I try support and every day I uh, try to uh, write or just call to my, for maybe for a couple minutes and ask about uh, their life now. Like I feel like my goal is to give people hope that everything is going to be okay because whatever they're dealing with, I would not wish it to anybody. This is terrifying. This is truly terrifying. I feel like we have to all prepare for the worst and hope for the best, because this is the most we can do. There is no way back. There is no way, I mean, we have no place to go. It's our land, it's uh, our country. That's where our parents, grandparents, grand-grandparents are buried. And that's, that's the place people call home. I'm really grateful for, for Americans and, and their support and seeing how they unite to support Ukraine uh, because we really need it. But I wouldn't say fear, I wouldn't say desperation or anything like this. All Ukrainians know that we will, we will win because um, we always do. At this time of need, um, we don't have to lose our spirit. This is what we have, and this is what the enemy is trying to do. They're trying to take us down. Because even that this has been done to us, we have to stay strong. And we will be standing strong, because there is no moment in the history, Ukrainian history, that uh, people would lose their freedom. Ukrainian. Um, I can't tell you how much I am sorry for you and how much I am Радий, що я українець і можу підтримувати вас звідси хоч якось. Я сожалею о том, що ви все це почали. Я хочу, щоб це все закінчилось як можна скоріше. У нас немає другої країни. Це єдине місце на землі, яке ми можемо назвати Україна. Тому ми переможемо. Будь ласка, тримайтесь. Я вас дуже люблю. І сподіваюся на скору зустріч. Не втрачайте надію, бо все буде Україна. Героям слава. Хвилююсь, молюсь, не перестаємо молитися сім'єю за мир, за життя і за перемогу. Любимо вас. Слава Богу, слава Україні.